We are under the lights as the show gets you ready for another edition of Major League Baseball. A good matchup here for you tonight between the Chicago White Sox and the Minnesota Twins. Striding in, Leori Garcia. And we are set for baseball here this evening. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Buxton will wait on it. And he's got it for the first out. Next to bat will be the Cuban import, Yohan Moncada. And he's carrying a batting average of just over 300. So clearly he's been a productive player with the bat in his hand so far. And he pumps the fastball by him here. One and two now. Maeda has over 40 innings on his line so far. And when you look at his whip over those innings, it's not a particularly pretty number. Over 1.5. So he's often dealing with a lot of traffic on the base pads, unfortunately. And a fastball blew it right by him. And there are two down. Faces are empty here with two men out. Anderson. Hit out towards second. He's got it. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. So striding in, Luis Arias. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. High in the air down the right field line. But this is going to wind up a foul ball. Got him. The next twin up, Jorge Polanco. Past history with Lucas Giolito. Just three for 14. He also has one home run. Grounded back up the middle. And that finds its way into center for a one out base hit. At the plate, yeah. Nelson Cruz. Cruz. Tough to do much with that one, a swing and a miss. Hey, you know the pitcher right now, he's looking for that best friend, that double play ball. This is where you have to really be disciplined at the plate and make sure that you get a pitch that's that above cool. the knees that you can get in the air. So he sets him down swinging. Nelson Cruz becomes the second out of the bottom of the first. Full count, three balls and two strikes to the Twins' DH. 3-2, two, two out, runner on first. Lots of possible outcomes on this pitch. Swing and a miss, and that ends the inning. Up next for Chicago, Elo Jimenez. He had a couple of hits in that ball game last night. 1-1. High and deep down the left field line. And this is going to wind up a foul ball. Swing and a miss as he ran the fastball right by him for the first down. Ready now for the White Sox. Edwin Encarnacion. Now the one and one pitch. No score here as we play inning number two. They try to come in with the fastball, but it's too far in, and it's even at two and two. Fouled away. Grounded to third. Throw on to first will take care of Encarnacion for the second out. So bases are empty here with two gone. And one of the more prolific RBI men in the league the last few years, Jose Abreu, will bat next. A ball and two strikes to count now with the bases empty and two away. And he fouls this one off. Here he comes again, one, two. Interesting pitch selection right there in off the plate 
Not too many pitchers in the game want to go in there and risk hitting the guy and letting him get on first base free of charge. Ah, it's flagged down deep in the hole. Crow gets in there from short right field. A nice play, and that one ends the inning. Here's the third baseman, Josh Donaldson. He brings an average in the 260s into this one. Here's the one and one delivery. Oh, and they really bunch him up on that one as he swings and misses for the first out. Now at the plate, Mitch Garver took an 0 for 4 in the victory last night. Tough one to call there, but it's ruled just above the zone. And it's fouled away. The 2 2 one more time. Is swung on and missed. He got him. Up next for Minnesota, Eddie Rosario will attempt to put the ball in play for a change here with the first two guys going down on strikes to start the inning. Two and one. Nip the corner, two and two. Two balls, two strikes, a crucial count for both pitcher and hitter. So, Dan, what was your approach on the mound in that count? Do you still pitch for the strikeout here? Action pitch right here, 2-2. Two, two. The last thing you want to do is to fall behind the count, 3-2. And he got another one here. He strikes out the side. He set down five in a row via the punch out, and the inning is over. In now the power hitting outfielder Nomar Mazzara looking for better results than last night when he went 0 for 4 in that one. And he lays off for a ball 2 and 1. And it's two balls and two strikes now. Now a change up locks him up as he looks at strike three called one away. And here's the switch okay. hitting catcher Yasmani Grandal. He went deep in the contest last night. Fouled off. The one two. Is looked at for ball number two. And he struck him out as well. So the bottom of the order providing little resistance here. And there are two away. Now with the play, Danny Mendick. First two men in the inning have both gone down via the punch out. So we'll see if he can fare any better. All even now, two and two. Third inning, no score to this point. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. Center fielder giving chase. He tracks it down, and that will end the inning. Max Kepler the next to grab a bat. he will start things out against Lucas Giolito as we get the inning underway. The 1-1. One -one. Swung on and missed, and that's strike two. Man, this has been a game filled of a lot of swings and misses. Not very many confident swings, and this team up there, they'd swing at a butterfly right now if it flew in front of the plate. Lots of swings, lots of misses, a lot of ugly at-bats for this team right now. Started to go. They'll look for the appeal down to third, and ring him up, says the third base umpire. He's gone. The 1-1. Is a bunt attempt, but he missed it. Bottom of inning number three, nothing, nothing, our score. Lifted down the line and left. And this will wind up a foul ball. Again, a one-two. And they'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at two and two. 
Make it seven in a row. My gracious, he is simply unhittable right now. Two away. Digging in to try it again. Luis Arias. He got called out on strikes his last time through. And Matty, it was a pretty nasty breaking ball that buckled this guy. Well, the left fielder's on it, and that retires the side. Ball set for the start of the inning. Striding in once again, Leori Garcia. Flied out in his first at-bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. This game is rolling right along as we move into the middle innings with no score. You'd think by now one of these two teams would be able to get some base runners on and get him in, but that hasn't been the case. Now here's a fly ball. Well hit. This one's down. It's the White Sox first hit, and it's going to be for extra bases. And he will pull into second with a leadoff double. Up next for the White Sox, the third baseman, Juan Moncada. Into the box now, Juan Moncada. Sent on the ground out to second. Oh, and he can't come up with it. And the throw to first is in time, one gone. So a definite RBI spot here. Runner at third, one away. And up next, it'll be Tim Anderson. Smoke toward the hole. And a base hit as that'll chase the run home from third, and the White Sox take a 1 0 lead. Now back, left fielder, Eloy Jimenez. the plate now, Eloy Jimenez. Up in the zone for him, and he takes a called strike two. Now a throw over to first, and he'll get back in standing. And another throw over. Runner back safely. The one two. That was a tempting pitch to swing at right there. A big power guy like this really wants something that he can elevate and drive out of the ballpark. Uh, got him on the good slider there. Swung on and missed as he's down on strikes for the second time tonight. And part out the yard. A 1 1. That's a great call right there. Fastball away with a guy who's got some jets on first base. Almost like a hybrid pitch out. Great for a catcher if that guy's running. Easy transfer throw to second base. The 3 1. Finds the zone to fill the count. 3 and 2. Good spot for an RBI. Put the ball in play with the runner in motion. He could score all the way from first. Hard hit at third. Right to Donaldson. Throw in time and the side is retired. Ready to go in the bottom of the fourth. Now at the plate, Jorge Polanco. A base hit in his first trip. Yeah, guys, still the only hit in this game so far. They've been pretty well shut down. Guys on the mound have really much controlled the whole outcome up until this point. Hitters count now. Here's the two and one. High and deep to right center. Going back is the center fielder. Standing in now, Nelson Cruz. And it's up to a 3-2 full count now. When you get yourself to a 3-1 count and you get a fastball, those are the ones you really want to punish. Couldn't get the bat on it, so we'll see if that comes back to haunt him. And that's low now ball bat. four. The designated hitter, Miguel. The 1-1. One, one. Oh, Hasn't seen a heater yet in this at bat. One might be coming right here. The 2 1 home. That turns out to be a good take on that front door breaking ball, but you have to wonder if that pitch buckled him at all. That was really close to clipping the inside corner. Oh, and he's really got the strikeout pitch working now as he now notches number nine in the ball game. Now the 
payoff pitch home. And he misses with that one for ball four. So that'll put runners on first and second now with one away. Digging in for his second at bat, Mitch Garver. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. There's a breaking ball, but it's laid off and doesn't find the zone. And he misses again, ball four. And that's back to back guys now that have reached base via the base on ball. Digging in now, Eddie Rosario. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. And great extension as he drives this one high in the air and deep the other way. Gone! It's a grand slam! So now to the plate, Max Kepler. A two ball, one strike count to the Twins' first baseman. It's one thing to get hit around, but it's far worse when you're getting yourself into trouble by not throwing strikes. Every pitcher's been there, but it doesn't make it any less frustrating or unacceptable. Full count to Max Kepler, three balls and two strikes. For the guy on the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this A.B. hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. He'll try it again, three and two. And he struck him out. So double digits now. Ten strikeouts for him thus far. So that'll bring in Byron Buxton. 0 for 1 after he took a look at strike three in his first plate appearance. Yeah, always frustrating to go down looking. Everybody does it, though. You'll have a few A-Bs where you get completely fooled. Look for him to be on the attack early in the setback. Now here's one hit in the air to the right side. And that's in there. Base hit. He'll get it into second. Not in time, and he's in there with a double. The batter, number two, second baseman, Luis Arias. To the plate now, Luis Arias. Hit swung on and missed the throw. He's not in time as he just gets in ahead of the throw. Lofted in the air out toward right center. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. Next will be the designated hitter, Jose Abreu. He'll start off the fifth in this one. This one doesn't look good so far. Down by a boatload as we enter the middle innings. It's about time they get something going, and the last thing you want to do is fall behind where you have to score a bunch in the eighth and ninth inning. And the count will be full. Now the payoff pitch home. And this is sliced foul into the stands in right out of play. The next 3 2. Fooled him a bit as this is hit high in the air towards right center and shallow. And he will make the catch on the full run. And there's a dandy of an out to start the inning. So the bases are empty with one man gone. And that brings up the versatile Nomar Mazzara. The 2-1 home. Is looked at for ball three. It's a 5-1 game here in inning number five. Now a slider here, but this will miss off the plate away, and it's ball four. So a runner at first with one out now. And up next, the switch hitting catcher, Yasmani Grandal. To two and two now. There's a swing and a missile sent out to center field. Center fielder going back. And that one is gone. At the plate, Danny Mendick. And he's a little too high with that one. Two balls and a strike. You know, he was really pounding the strike zone early on, but he's kind of gotten away from that here a bit. He might just need a little reminder to attack hitters and trust his stuff. Therefore, it is Donaldson, and there are two away now. Now batting. Back to the top of the White Sox lineup now and stepping in, Leori Garcia. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at-bat with another big hit right here. 
And he's got to build off that last A-B. He battled. Usually when you battle, you get in that swing mode. A lot of pitches, you'll swing at the rosin bag. I love the fact that he was able to work a double in last at bat. Let's see if we get more of the same right here. Yoan Moncada would be next. Hit hard on the ground at first. He's right there, and he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Digging in once again, Jorge Polanco. He's off to a fast start in this one. Two for two, including a home run. And that last at bat when he went deep, he turned around a pretty good fastball. So I'm kind of thinking this guy's a good fastball hitter. So I might want to move that ball up and down and in and out and try not to throw it right down the middle of the plate. And that misses ball four now. It's a leadoff walk to get the home half of the now fifth that. underway. The right field. Stepping in, yeah. Nelson Cruz. Cruz. Now a drive by Cruz. Deep left field. Looking up is Jimenez. Gone all the way into the upper deck. Michael Kopech, the right-handed reliever standing 6-3, gets the ball now out of the bullpen. Michael Kopech. Into the box, Miguel Sano. The ball in two strikes. Kopech. He's a guy that certainly fits the profile as a power fastball pitcher. But I think what makes him really most impressive is the command he displays while keeping the velocity as high as it is. The one two. There's a swing and a high drive into left center field. Center fielder looking up. The track, the wall. That one's out of here. Back to back home runs. In now, Josh Donaldson. Fouled away. Hit in the air out to right. Mazzara's on his horse. He makes the catch, a great effort to get there and record the first out of the inning. Settling in now, Mitch Garver. The 1-1 home is taken for ball two. Three runs already home here. Now a swing and a fly ball. And it's a foul ball. 2 2. We got three and two. Too close for comfort, and he did a good job just to make contact. Another full count pitch home. And he looks at one that misses, and that's an excellent job of making his man throw a lot of pitches as he toughs out of the wall. So Eddie. digging in now, Eddie Rosario. He's working on a one for two game so far. Now the one and one pitch. A great pitch there as he couldn't get extended on that one and he's down on strikes for the second out. Now First Stepping into the box, Max. Max Kepler. He was punched out looking at strike three last time through. Yeah, in today's game, certainly don't get completely reprimanded for too many strikeouts, but no one likes to go down looking. Expect him to be a little bit more aggressive at the dish to say be. The one-two. And he pops him up, drifting toward the left side of the infield. And Moncada brings it in to retire the side. Randy Dobnik is going to come on in relief as he'll be making his 20th appearance of the season. Now with the plate, Yohan Moncada. He's 0 for 2 with a strikeout in this one. One ball and two strikes to count. The 1-2.
And he goes against the shift there as this is on the ground to the left side. And now, oh, this ball's going to wind up out of play. And a big mistake there. Now batter. Runner at second now as a result of the error. And stepping up as the shortstop, Tim Anderson. Here it comes on one and one. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. As he arrives at second without a play, as also on the play, a run comes across to score. The left fielder, Aloy Jimenez. Into the box now, Elo Jimenez. Hard on the ground towards short, right to him. And the throw pulls the first baseman off the bag, and he's safe at first. The first now to the plate, the Edwin Encarnacion. Edwin. 0 for 2 for him Edwin. to this point. The 1-1. One, one. Saws him off here as this ball's popped into the air. And he will somehow keep his eye on the baseball there as he has it for a big out okay. number one. The designated hitter. For the plate now okay. is the designated hitter, Abreu. Jose Abreu. He flew out in his last at bat. And he gets a piece of it here, but it's chopped foul. The 2 2. High in the air down the right field line. But this is going to wind up a foul ball. Now he extends nicely, and this ball's driven to right field and deep. And this one bounds around against the wall. He pulls into second safely as a run will score on the play as well. The right fielder, number 30, Nomar Magara. Stepping in now, Nomar Mazzara. Late on that one as it's fouled off to the left side. He loses him on ball four. So bases are loaded. Nowhere to put him with one away. Well, that'll bring up Yasmani Grandal. The 2 1. It often becomes harder to hit the zone when the pressure starts to heat up. Well behind that fastball, it's a swinging strike. Hey, that's the kind of swing you'd like to see a guy take with the bases loaded. He's going for the downs. Just hung in there on that one. Payoff pitch one more time. Nope. And that misses. Ball four. A run will come in to score. Corey Guerin has called upon to pitch, really needing that double play ball. Bases are loaded here with only one man out. Danny Mendick will be the first to meet him here, and he'll do so in an enviable situation indeed. Bases loaded and only one out now. And it's one and two. Guerin was known as a short relief specialist, a guy who came in, got one or two big outs, but with the new pace of play rules, they're forcing a change for this right-hander. The 2-2. Two -two. Just staying alive, putting together a really good at-bat here. Another try at 2-2. Abreu at third. Mazzara over at second. Grandal is over at first with one away. Fly ball out to right field. Catch is made by Cruz, and here comes the runner from third. And he will get in to score, and it's a run batted in on the sacrifice fly. So stepping in, Leury Garcia, as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. Here's the 2-1. Two, 2-2. One. Two and two. Four runs here in this half inning. Still 2-2. Two and two.
counts even at two. The pitch. I tried to bury one down and away, but it's a full count now. Three and two. Line to the right side. That's in there. Base hit. The tying run is in to score from second. Now back the third baseman, Yohan Moncada. To the plate now, Yohan Moncada. And there's ball two now. Both teams with six hits so far. To third. Donaldson's there. Throw in time, and they stop the bleeding as the side is retired. Here's Byron Buxton now. One for two with a double on the ledger so far. Hit the target, but this is low, two and one. Buxton ahead in the count, three balls and a strike. Good job to work the count and put himself back in the driver's seat. Started off with one strike, and now he's got the count in his favor, three and one. Back up the middle. And that'll get on through into center field, so he's got himself a leadoff single. Now back the second baseman, Louis Arias. At the plate now, Luis Arias. Pitch outside the throw. He's going to be far too late. That's a stolen base. He's fallen behind now, three and one. You know, I kind of see why his ERA is so high coming into this one. He's just putting these guys in too many good hitters counts. That'll catch up with you real quick. Three and two, full count. Working for the punch out and the offering. And he misses there for ball four. So runners are at first and second now with nobody out. Eight runs, just seven hits. And two errors for Minnesota thus far. Pulled toward right center field. Headed after it is Mazzara. He makes the catch. A great effort to get there and record the first out of the inning. Ready to take his hacks again. Nelson Cruz, as he'll look to follow yep, up the two run homer he launched Ooh. over the wall last time up. The last at bat, Matty B. We heard this guy's a good fastball hitter. He got a fastball and didn't miss it. We'll see if they pitch him a little bit differently this time and mix in some off speed pitches. A time to start making some quality pitches. He finds himself in a tough spot behind an account with guys on base. The 2-2 two -two is looked at, and the count moves full. Miguel Sano will be next. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Garcia is back, and he'll get there to make the play for route number two. So the big bat of Miguel now Sano that. digs in next. That's, that's we'll see if he can come through in a clutch yeah. spot here. Two on, two out oh, here in inning oh. number six. Hard hit ball to second. Oh, and it eats him up a bit. On to first, and the Twins are turned away here as the side is retired. to bat will be Tim Anderson. And it's two balls and a strike for Tim Anderson. Big sweeping breaking ball right there. Good pitch. But if he wants to get him to swing at it, he'll have to bring it in a little bit closer to the strike zone. Sent on the ground out to second. And that's through into right. So a leadoff single here to start the seventh. Now batting. 
the left fielder, Eloy Jimenez. At the plate, Eloy Jimenez. That's a strike to throw down. Ball's there, and he is out. Good throw. The one-two. Grounded to the right. Fielded cleanly. On to first, and there were two down. So two away here is the Sox bat in the seventh, and that will bring up the power bat of Edwin Encarnacion. Maybe trying to back him up a bit there with the fastball. When you're playing close games like this, base runners mean everything, so he can ill afford to start giving away free passes. And he lays off ball four. Now the potential go-ahead run is on base here. So here's Jose Abreu. He's working on a one for three thus far. Line drive to center field. In there, a base hit. New pitcher set to take over now. It's the right-hander Sergio Romo that gets the call. Standing in now, Nomar Mazzara. Chopped toward the second baseman. Throw on to first, and the White Sox come up with nothing as the inning is over. Last half of the seventh here, Josh Donaldson digging in now. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. The one-two. He is swung on and missed. He got him. Ready now, Mitch Garver. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Eight runs, just seven hits, and two errors for Minnesota thus far. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. You know, what I'm seeing here is a reluctance to throw the fastball. It's like he feels he can't throw the ball right by him right now. The count now at 2-2. Two and two. Off-speed pitch in the dirt as he takes it for a ball. Hey, I know the idea is to try to get the guy to swing on a 2-2 pitch, right? But that one was so low, I don't know anybody that would have swung at that pitch. Payoff pitch one more time. And another foul ball. Locked in a good battle. Here comes another one. And he lays off. Ball four. Now the potential go-ahead run is on base here. Sliding into the box. Eddie Rosario. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. A 1-1 home. Oh, Pretty good pitch right there. Fastball in off the plate. One of the things you want to do as a pitcher, try to stand those hitters up. Now the 2-1 pitch. Max Kepler waits on deck. Swing and a misses. He was way early on that one. Three and two. Hey, there was great arm action on that 3-1 changeup right here. He's got this guy thinking. That's the beauty right now. We go to a full count. Do you sit change up? Or do you stay with the heat? So with a left-handed hitter waiting, they'll go to their own left-hander out of the bullpen. Max Kepler will be his first assignment here as he'll face him with runners at first and second and one gone. Good pitch there down below the zone. Got him to go after it. Breaking ball misses the corner. Two balls and two strikes. The 2-2. Two -two. Doesn't get the zone. Count full now. First and second now. One man out. And that misses for ball four. So the potential go-ahead run moves over to third now. So bases are loaded. Nowhere to put him with one away. And that'll bring up the speedy outfielder Byron Buxton. And all three runners on the move here. And a late squeeze attempt, and it looks like it's going to work. And it's not in time. He's safe. As a run is also in, and with it, they take the lead.
into the box. Oh, yeah. Luis Arias. And a late squeeze attempt, and it looks like it's going to work. And a big RBI there as the run scores to make this a two-run game now. The batter number 11. Good job. Jorge. Into the box now. Jorge Polanco. And a fastball, but he's losing it a bit here to three and one now. Now here's a check swing, and they appeal down to first. No swing. So that's ball four. Dylan Cease is called upon to pitch, really needing that double play ball. Bases are loaded here with only one man out. Nelson Cruz will be the first to meet him here, and he'll do so in an enviable situation indeed. Bases loaded and only one out now. Fastball taken inside for a ball. Two and one now. And that misses off the plate and low, so it's three and one now. Not a good spot to be in right now. Pitcher's falling behind in the count with a guy up that hits really well with runners in scoring position. Full count now, three and two. And he will look at a cold third strike. Oh, and a big one there as the bases stay loaded, and there are two gone now. Bases are loaded here, two down. Fastball called strike one and two. He's got a chance to ring up back to back K's here and that would be huge in this situation. Now a fastball awfully close but he doesn't get the call. It's two and two now. Counts even at two. The pitch and he struck out again. That's the third time he's gone down on strikes in this one. Trevor May has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Number 65. Digging in, Yosmani Grandal. One for two in the ballgame thus far. The 1-1. One -one. Skied into straightaway right. There to take it is Cruz, and that's the first out. Into the box now, Danny Mendick. He's 0 for 2 with a sacrifice to this point. Bases are empty, one man out. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at 2 and 2. Got to find a way to scratch at least one across. You do not want to take on the monster closing the game down three. Buxton is there now, and he has it, two gone. So the batting now order that. turns over now and set to go. Leori Garcia. Garcia. The 1-1. One, one. Taken strike two. Wow, not sure what you're looking for two right strikes. there, but that one was pretty much middle, middle, center cut. Tough pitch to take. Look out, a fastball up near his dome, and that'll wake you up a bit. Not sure if that was a purpose pitch or not, but I liked it. As a pitcher, sometimes you've got to be willing to back the guy off the plate by running something hard inside. You can't just let guys be comfortable standing in the batter's box against you. That's lifted the other way out to left. Rosario is there, and he'll make the catch to retire the side. Bottom of inning number eight set to go. Digging in, Josh Donaldson. He was sat down on strikes in his last at bat. Sometimes you just got to tip your cap to the guy on the mound. He's getting paid to try and get you out as well. Anytime it gets up there north of seven, eight pitch ABs, sometimes it just comes down to pure execution. Let's see if he makes the adjustment right here. Now batting. Into the box now. Yeah. Mitch Garver comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Now here's the pitch. Just a bit high with the fastball, but didn't get the call. With this one almost in books, the story was clearly the long ball. What are your thoughts on this offense, fellas? Well, Manny V, I don't know what your thoughts are, D-Roll, but boy, when the weather starts to warm up and the ball starts jumping out like this, it's clear that the pitchers need to start making better pitches. Yeah, just great approach. No one really chased today. 
really stayed staunch on, uh, on their ability to get that pitcher to come into the heart of the plate, and they did damage with it. Hitters count now. Here's the two and one. That front door slider is a devastating pitch. By the time you realize it's in the zone, it's too late. And you can't even put a good swing on it. Now here's one hit in the air to the right side. And that'll get down for a base hit. And there are two away now. At the plate, Max Kepler. We could really use a knock here. 0 for 3 in the game so far. Now the 2-1. Runs a bit inside for a ball. Byron Buxton would be next if they can keep this inning alive. And it's up to a 3-2 full count now. Great job on those last two pitches of varying speeds. Gave him a hard fastball, and then he locked him up with a changeup. Working for the punch out and the offering. Now here's the ball hit high and deep to straightaway right field. Mazzara retreats to the track and he'll put this one away. So a sigh of relief as the side is retired. Taylor Rogers takes the ball now in inning number nine, looking to close the door. Number 55. Taylor. Yohan Moncada will be the first one to greet him as he'll have to turn around and bat from the right side of the plate here. They look like they're up against it here. Down three on the road trying to come back against the closer. And he takes one off the inside corner for ball two. Now a swing and he just fouls this one away. And he fouls this one off. Ready on two balls and two strikes. Here it comes. And a swing and a miss. Good pitch there for the first out here in the ninth. Now that Digging in and looking for more. Tim Anderson. He singled his last time up. Ready with the 1 1 pitch. Outside 2 and 1. It's a high fly ball headed for the left field corner. If it stays fair, it's gone. And it's a foul ball. And they're working the outer half here, but that one's wide for ball three. You know, you don't always have to straight challenge a guy on a 3-2 count. With the three-run lead, no one on base, this is the perfect situation to do it. No reason to nibble and possibly set up a big inning. Now back, left fielder, Eloy. And now, Eloy Jimenez. Jimenez. Up and in Eloy here as he had to bend out of danger. And he'll try to hold back the swing, but he'll do so unsuccessfully as that's ruled a strike. And it's fouled away. Runner at first here, one man out. Got him. And he goes down on strikes for the third time. In now, Edwin Encarnacion. He comes to the plate as the last chance for his side. Two out here in the ninth. Two and one the count to the White Sox first baseman. Just lucky to make contact on that one as it's chopped foul. The White Sox down to their last strike. And this one's in the dirt. And he'll make it into scoring position here with two away as that'll be scored a wild pitch. And now the crowd estimated at over 29,000 come to their feet. Good battle. Count remains full. Good battle here. This will be the seventh pitch coming up. And that misses ball four. So it's first and second now with two out. Striding forward now is the D.H. Jose Abreu. Last time through was a base hit. Yeah, and they take another single right here. That third base coach is dying to wave his arms. I wouldn't be surprised. If and that is going to wrap things up as the catch is made and the Twins make it six straight victories now as this one is over.
you can just see that the confidence is radiating off of them out there right now. That's six wins in a row, and this looks like a train that's not about to slow down anytime soon. 11 to 8, the final score in this ball game. The Twins get the win on the heels of four home runs. Sergio Romo gets the win in relief, his second of the year. Taylor Rogers closes the door for the save, his 13th of the year. So that's a wrap here tonight. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and Heidi Watney, this is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on Twitter at MLB The Show. The final line score for our ball game tonight for the victorious Twins: 11 runs on nine hits, two errors. They left nine runners on base. For the White Sox, eight runs, nine hits, no errors. They left seven men on base. Time of the ball game: four hours and 19 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this evening. We remind you to please. Drive home safely.